Guys, am I miserable? Because I was thinking about it a little bit and I read this quote. This is from Twitter. This was posted on the Sportsnet. This is a quote from Travis Green after the practice today. I didn't know what we were getting with Luke Shen, but he's a good example for young guys. He hasn't played every night, and when he plays, he's looking to leave a mark. His compete level is very high. He's going to do whatever he can to stay in the lineup and help the team. And reading this, I was thinking to myself a little bit, hey, you know, Luke Shen hasn't necessarily been the most beloved guy, let's just say. He's not the guy who was welcomed with the biggest open arms when he was acquired by the Vancouver Canucks. But I'm making this video because I really like him. I like Luke Shen. And at the beginning, I was kind of saying, guys, am I miserable? Because I was thinking about it a little bit more. I was thinking about our right-handed defenseman. I thought about Stetcher. I thought about Biega. I thought about Shen. And I thought about the guys that we used to have, like at Branson and all that. And I was thinking, I genuinely like Biega and Shen. Am I miserable because I'm thinking about that? Have I just been used to such poor Canucks hockey over the past five years that looking at energy guys like Biega and looking at physical guys like Shen, I can look at that and say, yes, I like that. Am I just miserable or are we actually seeing some pretty good performances from these players? If I had to say, it's probably a little bit of both, but Luke Shen is a guy who has come into the organization and has really made a solid impact whenever he's out there on the ice. And I mean that literally. I'm pretty sure most of you already heard about this, but that 5 nothing loss against Columbus on Sunday saw Luke Shen give out 12 hits, which broke the record for most Canucks hits in a game. Now that's not like super fantastic, it's not like an all-time Hall of Fame record, but hey, it's something that does literally leave an impact if you're a Vancouver Canuck. And Shen has done a pretty good job stepping into this lineup as a guy who was never really supposed to play in the NHL again. He was given a lot of opportunities elsewhere, Philadelphia, Anaheim, Toronto, where he was drafted, but he was slow didn't really transition well, and for the most part, Shen was a guy that a lot of people saw more as a liability than anything else. So coming into Vancouver, his game changed up. He's still kind of slow, but he's not getting outworked, if that makes sense. The way I'd like to illustrate this is by thinking about it like this. Shen doesn't have the speed that one would want out of an NHL defender, but it doesn't really matter because he's not really a guy who puts himself in the positions to use that speed. Rather, Shen waits for the play to come to him rather than going out there and seeking things himself. He's not the one pinching in. He's not the one getting beat out to pucks because he's usually in pretty good positioning to swat things away from where he is, lowering the amount of times he actually needs to use his speed, which is lackluster. And Basically, what I'm trying to say here is Shen is pretty smart at using his abilities to the best that he can. And I think anybody watching the Canucks games could see Luke Shen out there helping guys like Ashton Sautner transition into this NHL development role. And he's out there hitting guys. And he's out there taking shots, which usually are effective, if I'm going to be honest. At least that's what it looks like to me. They're always setting up rebounds or they're getting gobbled by the goaltender. Luke Shen legitimately does have a place on this team as a bottom pairing injury replacement guy. And I'd really be happy to see him re-signed. It's kind of funny because a few people were talking about this on Twitter. I saw this on Reddit. People bring this up to me all the time in chats. Luke Shen basically does everything that we wanted Eric Goodbranson to do for like $3 million less. And don't get me wrong, Goodbranson has apparently been good with Pittsburgh. Could you believe that? But Luke Shen is a guy who, on the Vancouver Canucks system, is bringing that game that we wanted out of Goodbranson. Because anybody who's been watching the Canucks for the past two years, you could say, yeah, Goodbranson was not good here. Sure, he's good in Pittsburgh, whatever. That's not here. Goodbranson sucked here. And Shen is doing what Goodbranson was supposed to be doing at a much cheaper price. Which is why I'd be really happy to see Luke Shen coming back. Seriously, we're the Vancouver Canucks, we're gonna get injuries, Tanev is gonna be out for half the season next year, so having a guy on the right side that could come up and replace that side would be pretty good. 
And I know we have Alex Biega, but Biega's been good too. Biega's up there at 14 points. Shen is up here with 12 hits in a game. These two are honestly pretty good, and I don't know if I'm miserable or if I'm just seeing the fact that they're legitimately good players, but I like them. I like them a lot, and I know this video is titled Shen, but when we traded Michael Delzato over to Anaheim, we got ourselves two things back. A draft pick, which was essentially traded for Merrick Mazanich, and Luke Shen. And taking a look at that, hey, it's not bad. I'd rather have this than Delzato, to be honest. And Shen's a guy that I'd like to keep. What about you guys? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Your applause and natural sign gaming. And bye.